Hello friends, Satyendra here and in this video, let's add tolerance to the dimension in family table in Creo parametric. So let's get started. And for that, I have support plate with me. And for this plate, I have created a family table. Here I have three instances. Now for this dimension, which is the length dimension, for this dimension, I want to add a tolerance column somewhere here. So to do this, First, you need to add the tolerance to the length dimension. This is the length dimension. If you select this dimension, you see, this is the length, 200. Here you have the tolerance, which is not active right now. So first, you need to make it active. And to do that, go to the File, Option, Entity Display, go down. And here you have Dimension Tolerance. Now change this option to this option, show all tolerances. Just say OK, no. Now once that is done, double click it, select the length dimension and then you got this tolerance active. Click it here. Now here you have all kind of tolerances, limit tolerance, plus minus and symmetric. So I am going for symmetric tolerance. Now once you select your tolerance, here it just changed to none and add the tolerance value. So let's say my tolerance is 0 0.01. If you want to make it superscript, you can select this. Now once you add the tolerance to your dimension, now you can go to the family table. Now here if you want to add the column after this dimension, then first select this column and then go for add column. Here you go with dimension, select this feature and then you click on the tolerance dimension. You see that got added here. Now just say OK and you see you have this column newly added here. Here you see tolerance parameter 20 for the length dimension. This is the tolerance value I have assigned to this dimension. Now here you can assign the value for each instance. So for this instance 0 0.01, for this 0 0.02, for this 0 0.03, just verify it, close, now open this instance, double click this plate, now see you have your assigned tolerance value here. Now if you add this family table to your drawing, you will automatically get this tolerance value there. So you have successfully assigned the tolerance value to your dimension. And this is how we assign the tolerance value for any dimension in the family table in Creo parametric. And I hope this video will be helpful. Now you can like this video if you find this video helpful and I will see you in my next video. Thank you.